Some huge, huge news coming out of Hong Kong today. I uh, meant to make this video earlier, but things got away from me. I had a lot to get to, a lot of videos to make today. But this is uh, a huge, huge story here in 2023. And this really does help us when we talk about mainstream adoption of cryptocurrency. So Hong Kong Securities and Future Commission will begin accepting applications for virtual asset trading platform licenses starting next month. Tough new norms also include prohibition of crypto gifts, which will likely include airdrops. But this news is extremely bullish. Everybody's covering it. Watcher Guru, the big dogs, Coindesk. Again, Hong Kong Securities Regulator to accept license applications for crypto exchanges. Now, some of the people down here assure DeFi saying, great news, this move is a major step towards mainstream adoption of crypto. We should see more opportunities for retail investors to enter the crypto market and contribute to its growth. This uh, trader Dow says, it's a win for financial freedom and innovation. Let the era of crypto adoption begin. Kraken Exchange. Greater global access to crypto can only be a good thing. So many people weighing in and so many great comments as they know what this means for the future of crypto adoption. Now, let's dive into some of the finer details here as uh, Hong Kong Securities and Future Commission, SFC, will begin accepting applications, as we mentioned, on June 1st. The regulator has agreed to allow licensed virtual asset providers to serve retail investors, provided that operators assess understanding of the risks involved, according to a report on its cons uh, consolation of policy recommendations released Tuesday. The regulator also proposed stable coins, which are crypto pegged to the value of other assets, should not be admitted for retail trading until the jurisdiction's planned regulations for the asset class kick in. The rule book, uh, rule book explicitly bans crypto gifts as well, designed to incentivize retail customers to invest, which likely includes airdrops. Now, the guidelines, some of which were changed based on public feedback, place the onus squarely on the platform operators to conduct due diligence, stressing that being included in two acceptable indices is just the minimum criterion for being listed for trading. So under the rules, crypto exchanges are to maintain at all times no less than $5 million Hong Kong dollars in capital, okay? And at the end of each month, submit the platform's available and required liquid capital, a summary of bank loans, advances, credit facilities, as well as a profit and loss analysis to the F SFC. Approved tokens on regulated exchanges need a 12-month track record according to the rules. So they had to be out for 12 months and show, I'm assuming, strong volume and good practices. So that is the news out of Hong Kong. Again, this is a huge feather in the cap for mainstream adoption, opening up crypto to the masses. This is what we want. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below. Let me know what you think. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.